It was refused to support Zelensky in U.S. Congress. There was no one to welcome Ukrainian president. Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky's last visit to the United States is considered rather dull compared to the previous one. At least from the point of view that Zelensky was not received with special pomp as he was at the entrance of the White House as well as in the previous visit to Congress. Zelensky did not get a standing ovation in Congress this time. Zelensky's expectations from Congress were not fulfilled in the issue of aid to Ukraine. Zelensky has failed to provide any new arguments in defense of his cause during his talks in Washington with American lawmakers, several senators and representatives, including House Speaker Mike Johnson, have told the media in the wake of the meeting. Zelensky arrived in the Capitol to hold a series of meetings with top US officials to save a $61 billion aid package for Kiev that remains in limbo. Last week, Republican senators blocked the Biden administration's major $111 billion supplemental funding request, which included aid for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, citing the Democrats' reluctance to address the tense situation on the US-Mexico border. Some Republicans have also repeatedly pointed to the lack of accountability in terms of the funds Washington had spent on helping Ukraine. According to senior Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, meeting has failed to bring about any changes in the lawmakers' stance. Nothing has changed, he told journalists. The South Carolina senator who emerged as a staunch supporter of Kiev amid its conflict with Moscow explained that although he would like to aid Ukraine, border security comes first. So Zelensky traveled to Washington to plead for money to back Ukraine in its war with Russia, but he faced a skeptical reception from key Republican lawmakers. Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, would not agree to support Biden's request to give Ukraine 61.4 billion US dollars. What the Biden administration seems to be asking for is billions of additional dollars, with no appropriate oversight, no clear strategy to win, and with none of the answers that I think the American people are owed. Johnson said after meeting with Zelensky. Biden, who met with Zelensky later at the White House, said he would not walk away from Ukraine and neither would the American people. He warned lawmakers that they risked handing a victory to Russian President Vladimir Putin if they did not approve the request for aid. Another Republican senator, Missouri's Eric Schmidt, also said that the meeting was effectively reduced to the same old stuff. There's nothing new, he told journalists, adding that the questions for the Ukrainian president were very scripted. The U.S. Congress is unlikely to approve an additional funding package for Ukraine before Christmas, even if the two parties reach a deal in the coming days that includes it, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell has said.